Broadcasting live from Sir Oscar Studios. Ito ang P6 Patrol. Magandang gabi bayan, narito ang mga nagbabagang balita sa mga oras na ito. Sa ulo ng nagbabagang balita, differential calculus ginamit upang masolve ang problema sa periodic time. Hinihinala ang dalawang daang drum and block na nakakonekta sa isang screen, iimbestigahan. Isang bagong kotse na padaan sa isang malalit na luba, uusisain ang oscillation ng suspension system. Kalahating kilo ng pinaghihinala ang car na nakakonekta sa isang screen, na huli ang kinetic at potential energy matapos ang dalawang sentimetro pagtakbo. At sa ating Star Patrol, kinetic at potential energy dumalaw sa periodic motion. Yan ang mga balitang ating tututupan sa pagbabalik na Physics Patrol. A 1.75 kg particle moves as function of time as follows. X is equal to 4 cosine of quantity 1.33 plus pi over 5, where distance is measured in meters and time in seconds. Letter A, what is the amplitude, frequency, and angular frequency? and the period of its motion. We have solution. First, let us write the general expression on top of the given expression. x is equal to a cosine of the quantity omega t plus p is the general expression. The given equation is equal to 4 cosine of the quantity 1.33 t plus 5 over 5. Immediately, we can get A as 4 meters and omega as 1.33 radian per second and P is equal to pi over 5. Since Omega is equal to 2 pi over t, and that is also equal to 2 pi f. We get the period t equal to 2 pi over 1.33 rate is equal to 4.724 seconds. And the frequency f is equal to omega over 2 pi, which is 0.2117 per second. Letter B. What is the equation of the velocity of this particle? Solution. The velocity is given by the first derivative of position with respect to time. V is equal to negative omega A sine of the quantity omega T plus P. With the given values, we get V is equal to negative 5.32 sine of the quantity 1.33 T plus pi over 5. Letter C. What is the equation of the acceleration of this particle? Solution. The acceleration is given by the second derivative of position with respect to time or the first derivative of velocity with respect to time. Therefore, the acceleration is equal to the negative omega squared times the amplitude cosine of the quantity omega t plus pi over 5. With the given values, we've got the acceleration is equal to negative 7.08 cosine of the quantity 1.33 t plus pi over pi, and this is the equation of your acceleration. Letter D. What is the spring constant? 
we've got solution. We have the relation that the omega square is equal to k over m. So, k is equal to omega square multiplied by m. k is therefore equal to 1.33 radian per second times the quantity squared multiplied by 1.75 kilograms. And we have k as 3.0956 Newton. Problem number two. A 200 gram block connected to a light spring for which the force constant is 5 Newton per meter is free to oscillate on a frictionless horizontal surface. The block is displayed 5 centimeters from equilibrium and released from rest. Letter A. Find the period of its motion. Solution. We have the formula omega is equal to the square root of k over m. Therefore, substituting values, we have the square root of 5 newton per meter over 200 times 10 to the negative 3 kilograms is equal to 5 radian per second. And the period T is equal to 2 pi over omega. Therefore, we will have 2 pi over 5 radian per second. And the time period T is 1.26 seconds. Letter B. Determine the maximum speed of the block. We have solution. The maximum velocity is equal to omega multiplied by the amplitude. Therefore, we have omega to be 5 radian per second and the amplitude is 5 times 10 to the negative 2 meters. And our maximum velocity will be 0.25 meter per second. Let us see what is the maximum acceleration of the block. Solution The maximum acceleration is equal to omega squared multiplied by A. We have omega as 5 radian per second and we have to square that and multiply that by the amplitude which is 5 times 10 to the negative 2 meters. And we have 1.25 meter per second squared. Problem number three. A car with a mass of 1,300 kilogram is constructed so that its frame is supported by four springs. Each spring has a force constant of 20,000 newton per meter. Two people riding in the car have a combined mass of 160 kilograms. Find the frequency of vibration of the car after it is driven over a pothole in the road. We have solution. First, let's determine the effective spring constant of the four springs combined. For a given extension x of the springs, the combined force on the car is the sum of the forces from the individual springs. Therefore, we will have F total is equal to the summation of negative Kx. This is derived from Fuchs law. We can rewrite that as negative summation of K multiplied by X. Therefore, the effective spring constant is equal to summation of K is equal to 4 times 20,000 newton per meter. That will be equivalent to 80,000 newton per meter. The frequency F is equal to 1 over 2 pi times the square root of the effective spring constant of the four springs divided by n.
substituting values, we will have 1.18 hertz. Find the kinetic and potential energy of the simple harmonic motion. Solution The kinetic energy of a simple harmonic motion can be given by this equation. We know that the kinetic energy is equal to 1 half mv squared. We are going to replace this velocity by angular velocity equation and we will be arriving at 1 half m times omega squared a squared sine squared of omega t plus p and this is your kinetic energy of a simple harmonic motion the potential energy of a simple harmonic motion can be given by this u is equal to one half kx squared this is the potential energy of the spring therefore substituting values we have one half k times a squared cosine squared times the quantity omega t plus p ito po ay nanggaling doon sa equation natin na uh, position Let us look at the graph of the kinetic and potential energy versus time for simple harmonic oscillation with P is equal to zero. So we are pertaining to this graph, ano? So ito daw yung graph ng kinetic energy at ito naman daw yung graph ng ating potential energy. So it is the kinetic and potential energy versus time. Now, let us try to look at the uh, graph of the kinetic energy and potential energy versus the position. Kung ito naman daw po yung ating uh, kinetic energy, ito naman daw yung ating potential energy. In either plot, notice that K plus U is constant. So, it can be held constant. Parehas din sa napag-aralan natin dati na in the absence of uh, non-conservative forces, the mechanical energy will be held constant. We see from the graph that the kinetic and uh, potential energies are always positive quantities or zero. It's only from 0 to positive because omega squared is equal to k over m. We can express the total mechanical energy of a simple harmonic oscillation as the total energy is equal to k plus u, kinetic energy plus potential energy, and we will substitute values here. Now, notice that this one is sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta. And we have an identity sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. Therefore, the total energy is equal to 1 half Ka squared. That will be the total energy of a simple harmonic motion. Problem number 5. A 0.5 kilogram cart connected to a light spring for which a force constant is 20 newton per meter oscillates on a frictionless horizontal air track. Letter A. Calculate the maximum speed of the cart if the amplitude of the motion is 3 centimeters. We have solution. We have the equation the total energy is equal to 1 half K amplitude squared. And that is equal to the kinetic energy plus the potential energy. But we are asked to find the maximum speed. 
And when the maximum speed is attained, the potential energy is equal to zero. Therefore, we can equate one half Ka squared is equal to one half Mb maximum squared. Thus, giving us Vmax is equal to the square root of K over M multiplied by A. Substituting values, we will be arriving at 0 0.190 meter per second square. Letter B, what is the velocity of the cart when the position is 2 centimeters? We have the equation B is equal to plus or minus the square root of K over M multiplied by the quantity amplitude squared minus X squared. Kung ating pong matatandaan, ito po yung ating idinerive noong tayo ay nasa nakaraang mga slides. Kung saan, para makuha po natin yung maximum velocity, X is equal to zero. Kung kaya, yung A po ay naging A na lang sapagkat inistock na yung square root. Therefore, substituting values, we will be arriving at positive or negative 0.141 meter per second. Letter C, compute the kinetic and potential energies of the system when the position of the cart is 2 centimeters. The kinetic energy is given by 1 half mb squared. Substituting values, we will attain 5 times 10 to the negative 3 joules. Remember, the velocity that we're going to use is the velocity when the cart is at the position of 2 centimeters. The potential energy is equal to 1 half kx squared. Substituting values, we are arriving at 4 times 10 to the negative 3 joules. If you try to notice, if we add the kinetic energy and the potential energy, this will equate to the total energy, which is in the formula for problem letter A of this number 5 problem. And for our final word tonight, a person who talks a lot about others have nothing to say about himself. With that, this has been your host, Sir R. Square. Say, Philippines, thank you and good night. Pabuha, to God be the glory.